In this video, I'm going to go over the memc copy function in C. So the memc copy function is defined in the string.h library. So the first thing we'll do is include that library. Now the way the memc copy function works is it's going to copy characters from a source to a destination, either until some number of characters has been copied or until a particular character has been encountered in the source string. So let's go over an example. Here I'll say car source is equal to, and I'll say John Smith at Microsoft.com. And then I'll make a destination character array. I'll say car destination 20. So the character array can store up to 20 characters. Then we'll call the function. We'll say mem c copy. The first argument is the destination. So we'll say destination. The second argument is the source. So we'll say source. The third argument is a character. And if we encounter that character, the copying is going to stop at that point, at exactly that character. So here we'll say at. And the fourth argument is the maximum number of characters to copy from the source into the destination. So here we'll say 20. So what's going to happen is, because we have an at character here in our source string, we expect exactly this much of the string to be copied into the destination character array. Because the way the function works is it's going to stop when this character is encountered. And that's where copying is going to finish, is at that point, up until that character. So let's try it out. And let's actually output the contents of the destination character array, one character at a time. So we can see exactly what's inside of it. So here I'll say for int i is equal to zero, i is less than 20, i plus plus, and we'll say printf destination percent d is equal to percent c. We'll output the index i and the value of destination at index i. So if we save this here and run it, we should be able to see the contents of destination after running the function. And we see that we get John Smith up until and including the at symbol copied into the destination character array. After that though, we don't really get a null terminator. So that's one thing with this memc copy function is that the character after this character here is not a null terminator. Memc copy doesn't do that for us. So if we were to try to print out the destination character array as a string, we'll get some garbage here. So we'll say printf percent s slash n, and we'll output the destination character array as a string. And I'll say destination here as well. So if I save this here and run it, we get this as output. John Smith at, and then some garbage here. So the function does not append a null terminator character onto the end of our copy. And therefore we can't really treat destination as a string. Now what memc copy does do is it does return a pointer to the next character in the destination character array. So what I could say is this, car star position is equal to the return value of memc copy with these arguments here. And what this is going to be set to is a pointer to the next character in the destination character array after this copy has occurred. So what we could do is set the character at that position to a null terminator. And we'll do that now. We'll say POS zero is equal to slash zero. And we'll put a null terminator right on the end of that string that's just been copied into the destination character array. So if we save this here and we run this, we now get that the destination character array prints out cleanly as a string. We just get john.smith at. And you see here, there's nothing printed out. That's just because the null terminator is not a principal character, but that's what's there now is a null terminator actually ending the string. So let's try something else now. So let's see what happens if this character here is never encountered. For example, instead of passing in the at character, let's pass in the character Q. The character Q is not in the string here. So what's going to happen instead is that 20 characters from the source are going to be copied into destination. Let's actually see what happens here. And we'll just comment at this and we'll comment at this now. And we can save this and we'll run it. And you see that we get 
john.smith at Microsoft, and that's where it stops because that's exactly 20 characters now that have been copied from the source to the destination. Now, what's going to happen with POS here? What's going to happen is, is that POS is going to be null. So if memc copy does copy this number of characters from the source to the destination, it's going to return null. And we'll find that POS will be null. We could print it out just to see. We'll say here printf POS percent D slash N, and we'll output POS. And if we save this here and run it, we get that POS is zero, which is null. So that's how we can use the memc copy function in C to copy characters from a source to a destination up until either some number of characters has been copied or until some particular character has been encountered in the source string. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.